Welcome to your white news box of glory. I'm Elliot Morgan. This is SourceFed. Let's learn some stuff, some science stuff. Roll the intro, please. So when I was a kid, I thought the turtle shells were actually like houses for the turtles and they had like couches and TVs inside their protective casings. I was an idiot. Now, even as an adult, I have to like forcefully correct myself. Otherwise, I will default to that far more fantastical interpretation of day-to-day -day turtle living. But turtle shells are crazy, okay? Turtles themselves are adorable and they're like all slow and from what I've gleaned from people who actually own turtles, horribly boring and self-entitled little turds for pets. But still, their uniqueness begs the question, where did that crazy shell shell come from? Well, when turtles are embryos, their ribs, shoulders, and vertebrae all merge to become a shell. Now, from an evolutionary standpoint, that's pretty freaking crazy, right? Well, this new Permian fossil, Unitosaurus, is shedding light on how that evolution may have happened, thereby scratching that weird mental brain itch we've all had for so long. The fossil seen here is the oldest known transitional stage, and this Tyler Lyson researcher dude from Yale has been staring at it for a very long time. Uh, fun aside. I once had a whole class when I was getting my zoology degree, hi mom and dad, where I studied the morphological differences between East and West Nile African crocodiles. What's even more boring than searching for morphological differences between two species only separated by minute genetic differences? Not finding any morphological differences and just making them all up. Oh, this scale looks bigger. I don't know, they all look like freaking crocodiles. Anyway, the fossil scene here is from 260 million years ago, which is an inconceivably long amount of time. And that Lyson guy stated about the new exciting fossil, the turtle shell is a complex structure whose initial transformation started over 260 million years ago in the Permian period. Like other complex structures, the shell evolved over millions of years and was gradually modified into its present day shape. The reason I think that more animals don't form a shell via the broadening and eventually suturing it together of the ribs is that the ribs of mammals and lizards are used to help ventilate the lungs. If you incorporate your ribs into a protective shell, then you have to find a new way to breathe. It is clear that this novel lung ventilation mechanism evolved in tandem with the origin of the turtle shell. Okay, let's backtrack. First of all, this lysine mother effer is presupposing our knowledge of amphibious lung ventilation and I find that offensive. Now, someone like me who once lived literally made up an entire class worth of data findings, might recall something about turtles possessing a weird lung system, but you, on a soul, probably don't. So let Lyson fill you in. One of the direct consequences of forming a protective shell by broadening and locking their ribs is that turtles cannot use their ribs to breathe. Instead, turtles have developed a unique abdominal muscular sling that wraps around their lungs and organs to help them breathe. Boom! Science! It's fantastic! Now, tell me below, what do you find mysterious in nature? What do you look at in the earth and think to yourself, how the crap did that happen? For me, it's Nicki Minaj. Please like this video. Thank you for watching. I'm Elliot Morgan. Goodbye. And for the record, I didn't actually make up the morphological differences. I had to convince myself that I saw the morphological differences, which I don't think I did, looking back on it. That was the class where I learned how to uh, wrestle alligators, though. I can do that. We'll go over that some other time. It'll be a lesson. It's gonna be a whole source of a video. It's just gonna be me explaining if you ever come across an alligator how to wrangle it. So it'll be fun. Have a good day.